come back guys so carrying on from where we left off so in this next chapter we're going to be creating yes we're going to be creating this piece so how do we go about creating something like this so this is what we're going to be doing we're going, I'm going to let me see what will work best for this <clears throat> okay let me take my perspective view we have something like this in place okay I think this would work so I'll just select this guy in here go to this normal mode go to this guy select and try to select try to select these faces to face mode I'm going to my side view for this. On my, on my side view, I'll select all of this. Hold control and deselect all the way here. I'll go in and check this. Uh, I need to select this loop. I'll hold control and double click on oh no. Oh no. Let me go let me get in here. Frame into that piece. Hold control and drag a selection around here. To the select that. And it's fine. Then I can duplicate this piece. I can duplicate this piece. I will just I will hold and shift. I go to duplicate duplicate. On that duplicate, I'll open this group. Yeah, this guy. So move to center pivot. I will drag this out like so. Drag this out. Push this inwards. Like so, okay. Let me let me kind of fix the uh, topology a bit more. Okay. So I'm going to edge mode. Right click on old. Double click on this edge loop. Control delete. Same thing here. Control delete. Control delete. Going to delete object mode. I will just drag this back in here. Okay, and kind of fix, kind of fix this a bit more. Let's do this from the front view. Okay. I need to let me rotate this guy. Press E on the keyboard. Rotate this. Something seems to be wrong. I'll rotate this. Holding shift. That's the weirdest thing. Go to my attribute editor. Or that's the three channel, and then I'll just type in 180. In here, tap on it in, in here. Okay, then um, vertex mode, move to. Let me go to wireframe. See, wireframe will be a better option for this. I'm beginning to match this up. I'm going to match this up as much as I can. To add something that kind of, kind of goes into this mesh. I have another option in mind to quickly do this, but uh, let's see. 
Uh, I think I have a better. I think I have a better option in mind. So you, you just need to be cal calculative while you walk. But I'm just, going, I'm just going to leave this guy in here. Let me just drag this out. Like so, Control H to hide that. So now I'm just thinking maybe a better option to this is to face mode. Hold Shift, double click on this, on those faces, and I'll do a duplicate on this. Duplicate face, and then I would center pivot. If I push this out, and try try to fix the issues in here. Um, edge mode. Control delete. Control delete. So this piece is more closer to the place you actually need to extrude that piece from. Okay. Then I will let me keep let me clean this up a bit more. Just clean this up a bit more. Okay. So let this edge loop and I'll go to mesh and I'll use a fill hole on this. Fill hole, yeah, this is fine. And then I would double clicking and select this loop undo select this loop oh no undo let me undo that uh let me leave it, let me leave it as it is let me just connect let me just connect those those points more. Let me just connect those dots where it should be. So I'm connecting these dots. Connecting this all the way. Trying to maintain everything on quads. Trying to keep this on quads as much as possible. Okay. Think these guys miss that. You just click, click here and click here, and then you you hit you hit hit enter to accept that. Think one more. Click enter to accept that. I'll save this. I'll save this. I think I mistakenly tap somewhere else. Let me just redo that to be on the safe side. Okay, I'll save this. Okay, I believe if I should push, uh, let me see if I can get these guys looking. Nope. A pretty bad idea. If I should smooth this and move to move this guy back in here inside a bit more, if I should smooth this. Yeah, I think that that fits correctly in there, which is fine, it fits correctly in there. Maybe I will just scale this down. Just scale this. I'll hit my S R key. Okay, I have this. Let me just scale this down a bit more. Scale this down a bit more. Uh, okay. 
Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Just a little more fixing here and there. Um, I want you to just sit, sit, sit on the edge. Just sit on the edge. Doesn't need to be too much into the mesh. But something that just sits on the edge. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So I'm just making some adjustment to this. Okay. Okay, I think this is fine. I would eat one on this, one on this guy also. Now I can comfortably do an extrude on this. Do an extrude. Center this. Go to my side view. F to frame into it. Push this out. And get something. Now it doesn't really matter. I don't want to get something around the air. So I'm just be fine, okay. Uh, something like this should work. Put my scale to on scale this down. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it sits it sits properly where I want this to sit. She's she's okay by me. This is fine. I can work with this, okay. Um, what else can we do in here? What else can we do? Okay, and let me add some more supporting edge loops on this. I can edge mode, right click on hold shift, right click on hold. I'll go to insert edge loop, yeah, four should be fine. Let's drop this in. No, 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 four is way too much. Let's settle for three. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I can use my. I can use the selection tool. Mm, let me try it. Try to match. Trying to match this up. It's not completely necessary, but I just feel like doing it, even though it's not completely necessary. Scale to. Select all these guys. Rotation to I'll just rotate this a bit. Push this back like so. That's fine. We can leave the name is three to smooth this. Smooth that also. Object mode clicking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. Not bad. So control S to save this. So let's start laying out 
you saw the other accessories for this like some of these pieces so how, how would we go about doing that how would we go about doing that quite easy you see we would just do let me make yeah i think this would be a good time to make a duplicate of this Control d to make a duplicate of this and then i'm going to isolate that duplicate Mm, yes, oh, I see that duplicates. Let me select old, old control and selecting that background image plane and isolate those two. So now I can, just fo I can just focus on just this piece, I can focus on just this piece and, and get what I want from it. So, um, uh, okay, okay. So, I want to add like two bands in here. Two bands, two bands. So, how do I go about creating those bands? So, since I already have one here, let me put my multi code to. I'll just add, just add the codes right about there, should be fine. Add the code right about there. That's fine. Uh, edge mode. Select that edge. I would um, hold control and right click. Okay, no, now that's wrong. To so hold shift and control and right click. I go to selection constraints. No, transform control that put it on surface slide and I'll just drag this no 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 wrong let me use edge slide instead let me see how it's affecting here yeah. Okay, that's fine. It's fine in there. It's fine in there. So I can just go to my face mode, select, double click to select that edge loop. Double click to select that edge loop. No, that, that's fine. That's fine around there. That's fine around there. You can always manipulate and change this letter around in ZBrush. But for now this is fine this is fine okay and i'm going to hold shift and right click okay then first turn on my transform uh you can come in here and just turn this off put this up turn this off but hold shift and right click i'll do a duplicate face so i have this guy i have this guy uh something is definitely wrong let me undo that let me do that in here let me do that in here instead i'll hit one oh my god now i lost now i've completely lost the other edge Let me do this. I should have done this on not on smooth mode. Let me do this on this normal mode. So put this on a slide. Move to this is fine. Double click slash to select that face. Hopefully this should work correctly now. Duplicate face, yeah, it's working correctly as it should. So I have this face. Let me name this band back O1. Band back O1. I would um, select this. 
need to add go to my multi chords let me select this place objects edge mode go to my multi chords now i'll just click i'll just click on draw out something like this on a straight line something on a straight line like this should work a straight line do that in the name do that again okay that's fine I go to my SC go to this band uh, vertex mode let me kind of make some adjustment on this still on edge slide make some adjustment to this kind of shifting this kind of placing them where they should be I'm just taking my time to to get this right put on surface slide uh, off I'm still going to be sculpting on this ball let me just kind of get them I'm just gonna get them in the right spots okay okay that's fine uh, selecting object must select this piece edge mode double click on this edge control delete to remove that okay uh okay yeah then i'll go to my multi chord to again I'll draw somewhat somewhat somewhere something like around uh undo that something around here should be fine okay that's fine uh go to face mode selection to duplicate on that face and i'll do a duplicate hold shift right click duplicate face okay object mode select all of this control to deselect this uh, i think Let me copy copy this, paste this in here, and name this O2. Control Shift to add those. Select this. I'm just kind of erase, remove. Um, let me remove these edges. Control D to remove those edges. Let me drag this guy down here. Let these two shift H to review them. I can go into into this guy and then work on that a bit more. Vertex mode. Select this. Let me put this on edge constraint. Move to uh, surface constraint. So freezing to move. It's moving up here. It's moving in that view. Let me do this properly in this view. Uh, I think the around there should be fine. Okay. 
object mode or save this okay so now let's um I think we'll go out of isolation mode um I think I still have that duplicate. That is my duplicate. Okay, the original, then this is the duplicate here. Let me undo that. I'll delete that duplicate. Let me work with the original. to save this now these guys these two guys they need some thickness around them so let me combine these two as one piece center pivot on them on them extrude that's too much I think somewhere around here should be fine I guess so. Maybe, maybe let me take it down. Take it down a bit more. Okay, around there should be fine. Then add subdivisions in there. Like two. Let's do a smooth. Uh, let's move the subdivisions there. We'll just add them in manually. So object mode going back in here. Uh, I will just my multi codes. Multi codes. I'll just add one here. Okay. I need to give them more space because it's more of a cloth. The cloth is not supposed to have like really sharp edges. So let me give. Let me add some spacing in between them too. So Make it have more of a rounded edge than a sharper edge to it. Okay. Okay. So let, let's do for this piece also. And to have that spacing in there. You don't want to make this look like some kind of hard edge metal piece it's gonna have some natural feel to it more like, more like a clothes on the edge so that's why i'm adding that those gaps in there so let me smooth this now go out of go to object mode selection to click out we're having something like this not too bad okay this is fine I'll save this so now we're done with this piece so main define now is main the uh, oh see have still have another one yeah this one, this, one, this one is just going to be just one piece nothing too fancy just one piece in there so um this is our knife piece some stops around here maybe we should extend let me select this guy Vertex mode, select all of this. I'll just extend this folder a bit more. Somewhere around here should be okay. Somewhere around here should be fine. Somewhere around here should be fine. Okay, that's better. I'll save this. Okay, so now I'm go to edge mode. I'm just going to do a straight, a straight slice on this. I already have one line here, so I'm just, I'm just going to go to. There's no, there's no need to make any, any, any duplicate of this in here anymore. There's no need to make any duplicates here. Okay, so just, what, what, what I'm going to do is straight line cut in here. So I'm just going to draw a straight line. I'm not, I'm not holding any key. I'll just draw a straight line in here. And bam, that's it. Oh, wait. We need to have this. We need to turn off our smooth preview before doing this. 
okay yeah that's fine so face mode flexion to select double click to select this loop go in here turn this back on F to frame into it um, okay F to frame into it and then we just do a quick just do a quick um, uh, yes I <laughs> almost forgot duplicate face on this so we should have that piece in here now this piece uh, paste band mid band mid mid there doesn't need to be any zero zero there so band mid great so uh extrude Okay, wait before we do an extrude in there i would like to object mode isolate that piece and delete this guy just add, this guy just added in there so double click on this edge control delete on this and then go out of isolation mode isolate mode and then i would back to object mode select this guy i would do an extrude do an extrude all control to extrude this out a bit like okay maybe a bit more uh, I think this should be fine yeah, this should be fine this is fine this is fine I'll then now go to my multi codes uh, I need to object mode I need to isolate this guy so back to my multi cuts to hold control add one in here add another one in here like like see keeping keeping that space to make this look more natural like some kind of clothes I don't want to make this too sharp I don't want to make this too sharp let me undo that May add more space into this. Okay. Okay. Undo that. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, go out of isolate mode, object mode selection to hit the three key to smooth not bad at all not bad it's fine yeah so now for the for the big guys these other guys we would so I have four we have four piece in there I just four piece in there I can select this guy as a base I would go and um Let's see. Uh, uh, okay. Let's try to figure out the best way to go around doing this. I think this will still work. This will still work. So I'm um, going to face mode. Yeah, okay, that face is selected. Okay. Let that face. I'll do a duplicate face. The duplicate face that sh should be in here. This guy, with my move to center pivot, can move this out. Get the visual on where it's supposed to be. That's supposed to be somewhere around here. So around here. Now I need to simplify. I need to simplify this mesh. To simplify this mesh a bit more. Mm. Uh, 
okay trying to simplify this mesh a bit more guys close enough in there Go to edge mode play this edge drag this up scale to scale this out okay mm, even the width is way too broad it's too wide uh, select this two select this edge control delete on that this seems for the other side let this edge control delete on that do the same down here okay I need to to pull this out select this to this selected select the wrong one this guy my scale to scale those out like so okay select this control delete I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to have sharp edge in there when I smooth. I feel like if I smooth now, I see it's more rounded. That's why I'm deleting those, 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 um, that center edge. So that's what I want to have anything that is sharp in there. I want something that is rounded. Okay. This is fine. So what else can we do in here? Well, I'm sure you guys get the idea already. I'm sure you guys get the idea. Already. Not to have this piece in here, I would. Yeah, it's going to be much easier for me now. I can just select. Okay, I need to. This guy needs to go up a bit more. What about this guy? This one. Okay, that's fine. Let that edge loop. I need to make this somewhere around something like this. Should be fine. That's fine. I'm sure you guys get the idea already. Control S to save this. Okay. So then um, the only thing okay, let me let me just quickly object mode center pivot. I'll do a duplicate of this, control D to duplicate this, drag this out. Now I need to use the reference properly for this. Drag this out. Now every every piece needs to be properly adjusted. Maybe I should do a, uh, undo that. Add some volume to this. Okay. Okay, push this front a bit. I need to make some adjustment to this. Select this to okay, move. Let me let me use the vertex mode instead. Let this to my scale to let me get a better better visual on this and push this down. That's fine. I think it would be a good idea to also select this edge. This edge, control, delete. Um, let this edge. to delete maybe this also yeah that needs to go my move to uh, compose this down maybe probably this also this two needs to go okay that's fine you select this no, um, straight to straight to object mode, scale to so 
select this guy the edges i need to need to bring these edges closer okay i'm having some issues there yeah, not to not to worry i'm going to extrude that anyways that's fine Maybe I overdid it. Let me push this out a bit more. Okay, uh, and then Ctrl D to duplicate that. So remove to uh, push this out. So we have one, two, three. Main one more. Ctrl D to duplicate again. I will scale this out. Okay, now everything sits properly as it should. Okay. I think these ones are more closer to the. These ones are more closer to the actual geo. seems to be a bit closer to it kind of get that right okay this also a bit closer vertex mode select these vats remove to push that up Okay. Okay. Probably this vats needs to come down. Okay. Being careful to check my reference image image to be sure of what I'm doing. Don't mind me, I'm kind of slow on this, but I'm trying to be careful and try to make this as close as possible. You can just fast forward or just keep this video to the part where I'm done. I think this is fine for now. Okay. Oh, almost there. Almost, I'm almost there. All right. My rotate, I rotate this like so. Okay, that's fine. So now we can do our extrude on this. Finally, we can do an extrude, our extrude on this. So object mode, so select. Put my move to select these guys, and I would combine them as one piece. Combine them as one piece. And then I'll do an extrude. I uh, think this should have some. This guy should have. Uh, arr, arr, arr. Undo that. It wants to go back to normal mode, like out of out of smooth preview mode. Then we can do an extrude now. This guy needs to have some more thickness to them. Let's see. Yeah, I think this will work. This will definitely work. This is fine. So this guy needs to have more sharpness on the edge. So object mode, I go to isolate select. I'll save this, and then I can be to add the edges, the pattern on the edges. So I'll come back when I'm done with that. So I'm done adding the edge loops around this. So if I should let me object mode uh, selection to I should smooth this do smooth on this also smooth on this I think this guy okay smooth on this so now we we have 
uh, I think uh, maybe I should move this guy closer a bit. Let me move, let me move this guy closer a bit. So I go to vertex mode, select all the vats that belongs to that belongs to this guy. We move to I can move this closer. Move to I can move this closer. Let's scale this out a bit more. Um, select all the vats that belong that belongs to this guy. Let me deselect this. Select this everything of this and this and this. Yeah, yeah, it gets a little, a little tricky. Let me get a better view on that. Select all of this, uh, all of this, and all of this. Okay, may I move to can move this like so. Select all of this at the top, put this down close to the mesh. Select all of this, put this down close to the mesh. Trying to get all this piece closer to the mesh. Name this, name this piece by piece. Trying to be more accurate here. Select this. Closer to the mesh, closer to our knife piece. We select all this in here. Okay. Make more, let me make more room in here for this guys to go up. Okay, closing the final refinement on this. Yeah, 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 this is better. Except for this guy at the top, it's way too high. Use this closer. Select all of this. Select all of this. Hope I'm not in going into any other shape in there. Trying to make sure I'm not spoiling any other shape in there. Okay. Select all of this. My skill to nope, nope. This guy, let's kill this out. Kind of maintain that flow. Yeah, this is fine. So, yeah, this is fine. We are officially done with the, with the base mesh of this. Officially done with the base mesh of this. So, what? So, officially done with the base mesh. Select all of this, you can see pretty good. So, now the next one we're going to do is to the next one we're going to do is to unwrap this, convert this into, convert this into a 2D image, and then bring this into ZBrush and do a uh, detail sculpting on it before taking it back to Sultan's Painter and then texturing this the way it should be. So I'll see you guys in the next chapter where we unwrap this entire base mesh model. So see you guys in the next lesson. Lord most I feel blessed to be in your presence when you're not naive. How can I survive in your absence? Oh my life, 
I was born to give you the praise. Whoa, whoa. Make me smile. Make me smile. Now I've come to say face to face. Where do my bang, baby, baby, do what you want to make him up? Am I more? Am I more? So I've explained. So I've explained that out as as an OBJ, just to keep that safe in case anything goes wrong. So yeah, I'm going to hit Shift P to drop all the mesh, all the necessary mesh outside of this. So as you can see, this is everything we need down here. Uh, just just to keep things neat, so I'll just collapse collapse that group. Okay. Uh, let me group this also. Let me name this. Name this. Low base. Control D and name this. Low base. Back up. B U. B U. Control H to hide that. So I'll see you guys in the next chapter.